My name is Sean Meter. I'm the chair of the City of Edmonton Youth Council, and this is the 2009-2010 Annual Report. I'm Kata, chair of Transportation Subcommittee. I'm Peter, vice chair of membership. I'm James, vice chair of policy. I'm Kristen, vice chair of representation. And we're the City of Edmonton Youth Council. Council. Unfortunately, two members of our executive, uh, Safir and Krissa, who are both members at large, aren't able to make it for this recording. But we decided that uh, we should film rather than pre present a paper report this year in order to provide something more environmentally friendly and hopefully more enjoyable to process. So, without further ado, this is our annual report and I hope you enjoy it. Oh hi, so as you know, I'm Sean and I'm the current chair of the City of Edmonton Youth Council. Uh, one of the first things that was my impetus for running for chair was that I would be one of two returning members to the executive of this year's Youth Council. As such, I have been hoping to provide my own expertise as a mentor and it also is reforming the Youth Council in this term. It's been an absolute pleasure serving as chair for this year's City of Edmonton Youth Council and I've been able to provide my experience through teaching other members of the General Assembly and the Youth Council how to deal with interviews, how to set up initiatives that work, and how to keep people engaged. And that brings me to my second point. I have been, I've had a keen interest in reforming how we keep track of attendance. I've been sure the entire Youth Council is t taking much stricter records, and also in how we deal with it. We have established a streamlined spreadsheet wherein any members who are not meeting our attendance requirements are automatically flagged red and thereby we have a spe specified process by which we are now interviewing them and seeing why they've been missing meetings and why they have not been attending things and thereby allowing us to rectify the situation. As far as mentoring the GAs, uh, we've, I've, as I said, provided actual workshops on public speaking. I've asked Lindia to provide workshops on minute taking and acting as speaker for the General Assembly meetings and I've tried to make the General Assembly meetings a little bit more interesting. Uh, by doing so we've made sure that every General Assembly meeting has now either a social event, an educational event, or in some cases just a workshop wherein for instance, I did one on Kung Fu just to get the Youth Council members and the General Assembly members knowing each other a little bit better. As well, during my term as chair, I have spearheaded a number of initiatives wherein we've worked with different individuals and groups outside of Youth Council. Uh, as you probably were, we worked with iPulse on the Street Speak Mural Project, and Kirsten will be speaking on that later. Uh, we met with Scrito, who came to one of our General Assembly meetings for more of a sort of intercultural exchange mixer, just, you know, get Youth Council meeting with different community groups and also getting community groups to know what the city and the Youth Council does. Uh, finally, we also have been working quite closely with NextGen. Uh, we are proud to support their events and uh, we've had in the past a mixer with them and most recently Youth Council has gone and taken part in one of their events where Justin Trudeau came to speak. Uh, lastly, Youth Council was president at the Lieutenant Governor's International Youth Day address and it is an absolute pleasure to be leading this active, engaging, and, and, and encouraging Youth Council and in all of their energetic initiatives today. So we'll be having more from the rest of the exec shortly. Oh, hi, I'm Kirsten, and I'm Vice Chair Representation for the City of Edmonton Youth Council. I just wanted to say that it was an honor to serve on the executive this year, and it was the first time doing so. As Vice Chair Representation, my duties included building relationships with different boards, commissions, and agencies. Um, and we did this by presentation, doing presentations about the Youth Council at various meetings. Um, we also participated in the City Board Leadership Training, and in addition to that, we also attended various meetings within the City. Um, in addition to that, James, our Vice Chair of Policy, and I attended the Way We Live session, and after we facilitated a front room discussion with our General Assembly members. Um, in addition to my Vice Chair Representation portfolio, I'm also working on the Homelessness and Poverty Subcommittee. And this subcommittee entails um, raising awareness about the largely overlooked problem in Edmonton and educating ourselves and others about the issue. This past February, we held our Street Speak Mural Project, which um, in conjunction with iPulse, which is another gr youth group, we um, provided blank canvases at different community agencies and asked their clients to depict their experiences with homelessness and poverty on them. 
Um, after that, we had an exhibition event at City Hall, which included two hip hop performances, speeches from Youth Council, the Mayor, and I Pulse. Um, after the exhibition event, we had uh, we displayed our murals, which we had about nine murals in City Hall for about two weeks, so we could share the stories of hope with. Um, the citizens of Edmonton. So we've had a very busy year this year and we're looking forward to our new and upcoming projects in the next year. Thank you. Well hello there. My name is James and I've been the Vice Chair Policy this year. Uh, we've had an exciting year. Some things we've done. First off we tried to kind of get a new sense of what policy can actually do within the confines of Youth Council. So we looked at things um, like making presentations, uh, maybe doing some more interactive things with Council. Uh, a big plan of ours this year was to continue Mock Council, and it was a great success, it just went on. Uh, I think we had an excellent turnout, and I think it's going to continue to grow in the future. Uh, right now our big plan for next year is uh, what we like to call the Edmonton Youth Survey. Um, it's not The specifics are just kind of getting start, started right now, but basically our plan is to survey all of the youth from grades, probably a gra grade 7 to grade 12, so junior high and high school. And we're going to ask them questions that relate to our different subcommittees. So things about transportation, things about sustainable housing, um, things about homelessness, just so we get a sense of what youth want to see in a future Edmonton. We're going to compile all the results, and at the end hopefully we'll have a really good booklet that we can prevent, or present to uh, council and kind of just have a really interesting view on uh, youth perspective in Edmonton. So that's what we've been up to this year, and uh, it's been really exciting, and it, it's been a pleasure to be a Youth Council Policy Chair. Thanks. Subcommittee of the Edmonton Youth Council. Last year we worked with the Wiser is the Path U of A research project team on a bicycle planning uh, tool that could be basically integrated online and uh, we also provided feedback on a youth transportation guidelines document from the University of Winnipeg. Um, next year our plans are looking at more of the uh, integrated land use planning and transportation planning aspects. We're trying to look at some sustainable developments and how we can uh, perhaps encourage other youth to be buying into sustainable choices. So those are our plans for next year. We also have an environment subcommittee chaired by Krista who couldn't be here for filming. But they worked on the uh, uh, ICLEI Congress, I'm very pleased to be involved with that. And uh, they're also getting involved with the Office of the Environment and the way we green plan. What did one strawberry say to the other strawberry? How do we get out of this jam? <laughs> That's right, I'm Peter, the Vice Chair Membership, and I make it fun for everyone. So, that means I'm in charge of interviews, recruitment, and orientation. This year, we had, we had a record number of applicants, 78 applicants, and we took 16 qualified individuals. I'm also in charge of the Social Subcommittee and the Service Subcommittee. So, I also plan volunteering events, uh, such as boat mission dinner services or uh, Habitat for Humanity build days. Some of the social events I've done in the past are potlucks, laser tag, and uh, mini Olympics, which was quite some fun. Uh, I've, I've also uh, in introduced a new program where we ease five members into the uh, General Assembly in the middle of the year as opposed to at the start of the year so we can sort of have a continual growth of membership. Also, this, is our, this year was our first annual Youth Awards, and I helped plan the kickoff ceremonies for the Youth Week, which is a week dedicated to low-cost events for youth in Edmonton. Anyways, that's me. Take it easy.